I kind of want to talk about the Two Love Rue collab that's actually coming out. Um, it's probably going to be in a week or about a week, I'm pretty sure, uh, once the, uh, the current Musashi rerun happens. And so we kind of, I kind of want to talk about it because um, I kind of want to speculate on which boats are going to be available. The stream is tonight, apparently, or at least later uh, today or like in the upcoming hours. Um, I actually can, let me see, I think there's a link to the YouTube here so we can actually tell exactly in how many hours it's going to be. So according to the YouTube page right there, it's in two weeks in my opinion. There might be a, a dead week after the... Uh, there might be a dead week after the, the Musashi run. It's possible. Uh, I don't exactly know, but I guess we'll find out, right? So anyway, the live stream for me is going to be in about 17 hours. So for me, it's going to be tomorrow because it's already 6 p.m. for me, right? So anyway, what I want to talk about is that we already have the silhouette of three characters that we can obviously recognize, and let's go over them real quick. So first and foremost, we actually have Momo. A boomer anime collab. Guys, I've been reading the entirety of To Love Rue. I think I read it a billion years ago and I remember nothing. So I've been rereading everything. And it, it is so etchy. I think it w you could not make an anime like this today. Actually, you know what? That's not true. That's not true. We have animes like um, the girl who's obsessed with like magical girls and she does like tentacle with them and stuff like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said it. Yeah. There's horrendous anime that are super, super lewd out there, right? So anyway, it's actually kind of crazy and uh, the amount of edginess is insane. It, it, it's like, it's soft, yeah. like not even, I should not say, yeah. it's fine if I don't get monetized. Anyway, <laughs> I want to talk about the characters. So here, first and foremost, we have Momo. So Momo is actually the sister of Lala, which is like kind of like one of the main girls, right? And she's incredibly horny. She's the horniest character. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of horny characters, but she's one, definitely one of the horniest. She keeps sleeping into the bed of the, the, the main guy. Um, and the main guy is apparently is a beast in bed when he's asleep. Uh, he dreams of like eating uh, pastries and stuff like that. And he touches the girls like uh, insane. So she does that every time because she, she wants to have a good one. And uh, she, is the, she is the girl that is trying so hard to make the plan to create a harem for the main protagonist. So she's that down bad. She wants it so bad that she's even willing to make the full harem just to be with the protagonist. She is that down bad. Anyway, it's super cool to see her here. Obviously, we love her. Now, moving on. The second silhouette we have had is right here. And this is obviously darkness. I'm actually, I'm not going to Google pictures so you can see them because I'm worried there's probably going to be some itchiness on screen. And for obvious reason, we don't want to show that here. But do feel free to Google them. Her name is Golden Darkness, also known as just simply Darkness or Yami Yami or Yami Chan. Essentially, she is a girl that was experimented on. She was like a clone. Um, and her kind of the person that she that was used as the base for the clone. That's kind of like half her mother, half like her older sister, essentially. Right. Depending on how you want to see it. Um, her name is Tear Drew and she kind of sees darkness as like her little sister, right? Uh, but essentially, for some reason, uh, she was kicked off the project because uh, the people that was working on the project wanted darkness or Yami-chan to be a weapon, essentially just an assassin kind of stuff. And Tear Drew didn't want that. She wanted just her to be a, a happy girl and have a normal like girl life. So she was kicked off the project and fortunately she was experimented on. She, she, she had terrible things happening to her and she became a killing machine. She has the power to actually transform any part of her body into weapons. So she can transform into scythe. She can like transform her hairs into like fists to punch her enemies and stuff like that. She's really, really cool. She's really adorable. She's kind of one of those cruderes. As in, she's like kind of silent. She likes reading. She doesn't like edgy. So she always ends up like um, physically uh, beating up the main protagonist because it's that trope where the protagonist keeps falling and every time he falls, like, he, he takes off the panties of the girls and stuff like that. It's really ridiculous, I'm telling you. It's a product of its time. It is what it is. <laughs> but she is great. She's actually, like, she has blonde hair and she has a pretty uh, cool, like, black goth outfit and she's really cool. Now, moving on from her, 
The last silhouette we officially have is obviously the main girl of one of the main girl, La La. And La La, she is the sister of Momo and is another sister. So La La is the older sister. And then you have like two twins called Momo and Nana. Essentially, she's one of the daughters of the Deviluk, which is essentially the emperor of the, the galaxies, essentially. There was a big war a long time ago, and her father kind of like quelled everything and became the massive emperor. So she's the princess, and essentially she doesn't want to be home anymore, so she ran away, and that's how she ended up on Earth. Earth. So she's an alien, like a lot of the other characters. And so... She just kind of fell in love with the protagonist. At first, she just wanted to marry him so she wouldn't have to go back home and stuff like that. Um, and so obviously, if she marries a human, an earthling, he will become the new emperor of the Devil Luke Empire. So it's a whole shenanigan, but she's pretty cool. She's super quirky. She's really fun. Um, she had this, like, peke is like kind of a, a thing she has on her hat that allows her to transform or like create new clothes and stuff like that. And she loves creating new inventions. So she always does massive amount of shenanigans. She's a genius, but her inventions always have like a fatal flaw. So like she has the power to teleport you anywhere in the world, um, but it doesn't teleport your clothes. So you teleport, you're naked. So obviously she always teleport the protagonist with another character and they both end up naked. Uh, naked. One of them is a protagonist, the other one is a girl and shenanigans ensues as always. So it's great to see those characters here. Obviously, it's fantastic. We could have expected those. Now, which character do I expect apart from those? So for collabs like this, we can get anywhere between like four and like eight characters, basically. I think because To Love Ru is such a big um, IP, even if it's kind of old, as we said, it's kind of for the boomers out there. <laughs> Uh, but it has a lot of waifus. It has a lot of girls. So I could actually see more toward like seven to eight characters being actually added here. Um, obviously, the third sister, they could be Nana. She's a little bit of a tsundere. Uh, she kind of is like flat chested. She has like a, a complex by, uh, regarding like the size of her breast. So there's this aspect. There is um, there's kind of another tsundere called Katagawa. She's kind of like the... It's kind of like the, the the council, the student council prison kind of vibes where like she's super serious. She's always the one that admonishes the protagonist because of his etchiness, even though it's quote unquote never his fault. Um, who else is there? There's going to be Haruna, which is like the childhood friend that the protagonist is uh, like at first in love with, but then he kind of has feelings for Lala as well. So it's a whole shenanigans. Um, there's also, who else could I see? There's Ron. So Ron is actually that that alien species where um, essentially every month they kind of like change sex. Uh, so it's like they have two people in one. But because of Earth's atmosphere and the way it's different, every time they sneeze, it changes the gender. So think kind of like Ranma uh, 1 over 2, essentially like Ranma, you know, the, the one thing when the guy transforms into a girl. So it's kind of like that. Uh, but it's a whole thing where eventually when they become adult, they actually split into two completely different person, uh, separated people instead of like just one switching. So there's like going to be one guy and one girl. So that girl, she ends up becoming like an idol. So I could she's in love with the protagonist, of course. All those girls are essentially in love with the protagonist. So she could be one of them. Uh, there's also the little sister, Mika. It can't be a harem anime without a siscon, I guess. <laughs> Probably her is going to be there. I could see her being added to the game. There's like a magical girl that does a magical girl show, but she's actually a magical girl with magic power. Uh, she's more on the side character because she could definitely be here anyway. The Saki-chan, who's like the... <laughs> like the super rich girl. Uh, she also has like two attendants. I think one of them is a bit like kind of the nerdy girl with the glasses and the two braids, but there's also the other one who's like... You know, like, the knight's lady who's, like, kind of serious and, like, super uh, loyal to Saki. So, uh, maybe some of them. Now, the biggest plot twist is that sometimes to get the best girl, you need the best boy. And turns out, because of Lala's inventions, we sometimes have some shenanigans where the protagonist, which is a boy, transform into a girl. And... It would be hilarious if we had the protagonist version where he's a girl 
as a sheep girl. I think that would be so funny. So his name is like Rito, but as a girl, he ends up being Rico. So if they wanted to be like extra spicy, I could see them doing that. Although, I don't know. I, I mean, that would be funny if they did. I think that would be really funny if they did. Uh, now, who... There's so many more characters, like uh, Darkness, older sister, is named Terju. Uh, she's a scientist, she has massive boobs. Her friend is a doctor, I think she's named like Mi Misaka or Mikasa, and she has giant boobs too, and she has like dark hair and glasses, and she's a nurse. So th there's so much potential going on. Like, uh, listing all the characters that I could see potentially being added in the game, there could be, like, 10 to 12 ships, not even kidding. But, like, like right there at the top of my head, I think those would be the characters. But there's even more. There's, like, Mai, which was also a weapon, just like Darkness, that was, like, um, experimented on to being, like, a living weapon. And then, he like, she has her own master called... I don't even know. Like, she has a name, but I don't even know. And she's, like, dark hair, and they can transform, so she likes having, like, cat ears every now and then. There's just so many characters, and they're all so funny and goated and silly that I could see them going for, like, ten ship girls. That would be insane. Now, which characters are going to be, like, SSR? I think the one they're given the silhouette so far are the most likely to be SSR. So that would be like Momo because she's very proactive in the story compared to like even like a twin Nana. And then obviously some of the main girls like Darkness and uh, Lala. Characters like Haruna, Katagawa, those kind of characters, I would see them being maybe a bit more on the sidelines. So they would probably be like the, the epic characters and stuff like that. So that is um, kind of my thoughts on all of that. Uh, I don't really know what you guys think. Are you guys fan of To Love Rue? Do you guys even know To Love Rue? Did you decide to start reading or watching the anime after learning of the collab coming up in Azure Lane? What are you expecting? Are you going to be skipping? Are you just like, okay, I don't really care about the collab. I'd rather save for the UR in December. Do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe, all the good good, and I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching.